Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna look at how to tie up a bait loop knot on your fishing hook. I've been asked about this quite a few times um, when it comes to the salmon season and steelhead season. Um, it's actually a really, really important uh, knot that you should know because a bait loop allows you to secure your bait properly um, on the hook, especially if you're using salmon roll, if you're using ghost shrimps, if you're using any kinds of baits that can fall off the hook quite easily. Um, it's nice to have this extra loop to tie your bait onto the hook. It's very, very simple. There is actually many different ways you can do this. So this is kind of my way of doing it. And um, there's actually two different styles I'll do it and I'll show you which one I actually prefer. So the very first one, um, I'm gonna grab one of these uh, Owner Super Needle All-Purpose Bait Hook. Um, this is by far my favorite hook to use. I'm gonna flow fishing for Chinook and Coal Salmon. It's very, very sharp, very durable. Um, it's very strong, it doesn't bend very easily. So this is a one out hook. I'm gonna line it up like that. We're gonna have a fishing line parallel on the bottom. And we're gonna form a loop at the head of the um, hook. We're gonna put this loop in front of the hook, kind of like towards me. And then I'm gonna wrap the, uh, the shank and the fishing line on the bottom together. So I'm do about, um, let's say eight times, six to eight times should be adequate enough. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the tag end kind of in between the shank and the fishing line, so underneath it, bring it back and put it through the loop that you formed in the first place. And then you're just gonna pull it. Once you pull it tight, and that hook is tight on there. I'm gonna cut the leader, so. So there we have the leader. I'm gonna thread the end of that leader through the eye of the hook. And then you have this little loop that you can use right here. So for this particular one, um, you can put a piece of wool underneath it and just pull it tight. Um, you can also tie your bait onto it, but the only problem is it's a very tight loop. So you can see it's kind of hard to get it out every time when you, when you have to open it. And uh, this becomes especially hard on a rainy day or when it's cold, when your hands are pretty numb, it's actually really, really hard to get this loop out. So you have a loop, it's good, but there's also, like I said, it's kind of hard. So there's actually a way, a different way of doing this. And now you can solve that issue here. And that is by kind of reversing the hook and tie this hook, uh, tie the bait loop on the other way around. So we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna grab another hook. And we have a fishing line. So rather than having your hook pointing this way, we're gonna turn the hook around like that this time. And we're gonna form the loop again, like so. There you have it. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So you wrap this thing about six to eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The more times you wrap it, your, the bigger your bait loop is gonna be for this one here. So put this underneath the hook, the hook shank, and between the hook shank and the line, bring it back, put it through the loop. Again, pull it straight. Okay. So now we have the knot on the hook now. Now you notice that the lead is on this end, kind of like the opposite end, and then you have the tag end over here. I'm gonna cut this off. We have a leader. Okay, and now you're gonna pull, you're gonna put the, um, bring the end of the leader, put it through the eye of the hook, and that's gonna be your bait loop. So this one right here, it's quite a bit bigger. So you can see it's much easier to get out. If you wanna grab that loop, you can pull it straight, 
the knot is just as strong as the other one. You don't have to worry about it. So, and like I said, if you wrap this hook shank, the more you wrap, the bigger that loop is going to be. So, there, there you have it. So with this one right here, if you're flow fishing, you just put a swivel at the end of the, the other end of the leader. So there's your leader right there. Um, and you can also use this particular knot for bar fishing. And uh, even for trout fishing, if you want to do trout fishing, kokanee fishing from the boat, you can use this uh, bait loop knot as well. It's a very, very useful knot. There you have it. Uh, this is my version of the bait loop knot. Um, if you have any suggestions, um, any ideas, if any questions about this loop, um, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always happy to answer your questions. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our website at fishingwithrod.com. And until next time, good luck fishing.